Hey everybody, uh, sorry I haven't made any content in a while, uh, been really really busy, but I want to make a quick video today and it won't be very long, hopefully you guys will get something out of it. Um, if you've ever been chasing your tail with uh, backlight issues, um, troubleshooting backlight issues, I want to show you a really quick way, and this works for every iPhone, including the 10. Okay, so we're going to troubleshoot backlight by using uh, diode mode on your meter okay um, quite simply diode mode is uh, you're basically just putting a, a very small amount of voltage uh, through a pathway to see if it's open and see its resistance to ground um, and to see obviously if it's uh, grounded okay how you do this is um, you have to turn your meter to where it basically looks like a plus sign with an arrow coming into the left. So I don't know if you can see my meter, um, but it has it in the uh, right hand uh, right hand side, all the way over, up a little bit. You'll see a little symbol there, and that's the symbol for diode mode. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take this iPhone 7 that came in for came in for no backlight, but it actually has no backlight, no image. All right. And I was about to pull this thing apart, and that's uh, when I stopped to do the video. So I'm going to come down to uh, to your connectors. Okay, so obviously here uh, you're looking here you're looking at your home button connector. Okay, home button, uh, a couple other things, Mamba uh, type circuits. Sorry. A little confused. I wasn't looking at ZXW or anything. All right, so we all should know by now that on a seven, this is your LCD connector. Um, so this is what we're going to be checking. Um, if you didn't know, with backlight circuits on the iPhone, like I said, all the way through, um, as far as up to the seven, I don't know about the ten, but you uh, cannot get backlight without image. Okay, remember that. If you have an iPhone that comes in and you have no image get that image back before you even start to mess around with backlight okay all right so we're going to take a look at my sc screen capture here hold on don't tell me i there is scene two Boop. all right so we got zxw here and uh, we're looking at j 4502. All right, so I got the seat connect, uh, seat resistances pull up, pulled up. Uh, these are uh, what you can check in diode mode too. Uh, this will help you um, find problems as well. These are not exact, so don't look at these and say, "Oh, I have to be at 1439 on this pin." Okay, no, that's the you should be within. Uh, they basically run about a hundred low, somewhere there. The best thing to do is check it if you want exact readings, check it against a good board. All right, so pin two. So we got PP5V7 Mason for your touch connect, and this is PP5V7 LCM ABDDH connect. This is the one that provides power for your display. Okay, this is one of the main ones that goes bad on uh, each iteration of the iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and check that on our phone. So with this, you're going to take red is going to go to ground. Black is going to go on the pin. Okay. So go ahead and you can use ground anywhere. So I'm going to use ground right here on the side of the shield. Okay, look at my meter on the screen. I know it's loud. Nah, 0.002 resistance to ground so that is grounded all right so we have one component on this side of the board which is this capacitor right here which is should be ground on this side uh, this side zero zero one this side zero zero one Okay, so it's completely grounded. All right, so that's one quick way, and you can use this on all sorts of stuff. If 
if it goes to the display or it goes to a connector, including your charge port connector, um, you can use diode mode to find your problem. It's, it's a very easy way uh, to find a lot of common problems and it will save you a lot of time running around checking uh, 15 different capacitors to see which one looks the worst. Um, I think we've all been there when we first started. So I just want to share this video uh, about diode mode. And uh, if you liked it, leave me a like. Uh, if you want to see more content, uh, subscribe. You know, the more subscriber, uh, subscribers I get, the more content I will make. Um, I will go ahead and record more than likely record this repair board only once I get the board out. Um, I may do a follow-up video so you guys can see what I found. All right, but for now, this is just uh, intro to diode mode. All right, hope you liked it. See you next time.